Now, as part of its 30th anniversary, the optical services company Robert & Sons has donated 15,000 litre water storage tank and 40 packs of Brill worth 10,000 Ghana CDs to the Akropon School for the Blind. There's more in the following report. Robert and Sons Company Limited donated a 15,000 litre water storage tank and 40 packs of Braille worth 10,000 Ghana CDs to a crop on school for the blind. Speaking at the event was Monique Atta, the Deputy Managing Director for Robert and Sons. She said they chose a crop on school for the blind because it is a school with vision. Speaking at the event was Monique Atta, the Deputy Managing Director for Robert and Sons. She said they chose a crop on school for the blind because it is a school with vision. She added that they are offering comprehensive eye care to every individual because the eye is one of the delicate parts of the human body and advise Ghanaians to check their eyes every 18 months to avoid complications. In line with our 30th anniversary, um, we decided to do something to support the Cropon School for the Blind. Um, in communication with them, we realized what some of their needs were. And so in line with our 30th, as well as the current pandemic that we're in, um, we, were th we thought through the best thing to do to help them um, provide the services they are providing to the students as well as to help them through the pandemic. Mrs. Mahila Na is the headmistress of a Kropon School for the Blind and she expressed her gratitude to the company. She explained the situation of visually impaired children in COVID times. But <laughs> All right, that's it for the AM, uh, for the AM news for now. But we have a site conversation as well, site day. Uh, so there's more uh, to look forward to. The focus is on blindness and vision impairment, as we do every year. But on the AM show, we're going to be taking you through some of the basic things that you should be checking. What you can do by yourself and when to get out to see a specialist for your eyes. That's coming up on our show. Uh, but yesterday in Parliament, we're told that as at business time, only 16 out of the 275 MPs were in the chamber to do parliamentary business. So uh, when we take a breather and we come back with the review segment, Joseph Opokugapo, our parliamentary correspondent, will join us alongside Joseph Akable. We'll look at the newspapers, tell you what's also making headlines on our website, myjohnline.com. Do stay with us.